Hi, my name is Heath Johnson, and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Architect here at VMware. Today, I'm going to do a Lightboard presentation on uh, an overview of what is VMware Cloud Foundation. And it covers, at a high level, some of the components and how this works and bring it all together for you. So included, let's, uh, let's talk about the software components that are included with VMware Cloud Foundation. So first up, let's talk about the compute, right? So included with VMware Cloud Foundation, we have software-defined compute running the hypervisor that our customers have known and loved for many years, right? ESXi. Um, so this is the core behind what is VMware Cloud Foundation. Uh, along with this, right, to make it up is uh, the vCenter. So vCenter and ESX together making vSphere. And again, this is completely included with VMware Cloud Foundation. You will continue when you deploy VMware Cloud Foundation to use vCenter to manage your virtual machines and your business applications on a day-to-day -day basis, just like you do now. None of that changes, right? What VMware Cloud Foundation does is adds on top of this and delivers a full private cloud experience inside your private data center. Um, so let's talk about some of those different components of what a private cloud is um, and what's needed to be uh, to make up a full private cloud inside your data center. So in addition to compute, we have storage, right? So here we'll put our little storage icon. Um, and so inside VMware Cloud Foundation, we have vSAN, right? And so this provides hyperconverged storage inside VMware Cloud Foundation, leveraging the disks inside of, inside of our ESXi host uh, and combining those and delivering software-defined storage inside our data center here in our private data center. Next, the, the third pillar that makes this up is software-defined networking, right? So we've got a little network switch here, and that is delivered through NSX, right? We've had NSX for a long time. A lot of our customers know and understand it, but what NSX does for us, um, if we think about public cloud and the ability to uh, deploy VPCs within uh, a cloud architecture and architecting uh, software-defined networks using the VPC, NSX can do this too, right? We showed this last year at uh, VMworld, this new feature called VPCs. Um, and this is completely coming out now. So we have NSX virtual private cloud software defined networks available inside VMware Cloud Foundation, giving you that full private cloud experience of compute, storage, and networking, and being able to deliver these as an abstracted layer away from the physical realm of those devices and delivering them in software, just like you get inside of a private or a public cloud but we're doing this inside your private data center. Now, to pull all these components together, we're doing cloud operations. With our ARIA suite, uh, and some people still know this as the uh, vRealize suite. Uh, and so this it does all the software man monitoring of all these different components, making sure everything is running at top performance inside your private data center, giving you also uh, vRealize automation, right? ARIA automation, giving you that self-service catalog to deploy business applications, Windows, Linux, whatever it is you need deployed within your app, uh, application infrastructure, giving you that self-service catalog for your business application owners to deploy applications, request them um, as needed, right? So a lot of cloud operations, a lot of uh, really fantastic stuff in there. Now, to deploy all this is a lot of work, right? Uh, it, it can take you quite a bit of time to deploy all this infrastructure. So uh, to get started, there's a couple different ways that you get started with VMware Cloud Foundation. So the first one being, is we deploy this little appliance called the Cloud Builder. And this gets us started on day zero, right? The initial bring up of the entire environment, we do a fully automated deployment of the ESXi, the vCenter, vSAN, NSX. Um, and then later on, we can attach 
the uh, ARIA suite or the cloud operations as well to um, our VMware Cloud Foundation instance. But Cloud Builder gets us started with compute, storage, and networking and gets us initially built to have this software-defined data center inside your environment. Now, once all that stood up, we also deploy another appliance that continues on, right? So once it's deployed, the Cloud Builder appliance can go away. It's no longer needed. It's just there for initial creation of the entire environment. Um, from then on, we leverage this appliance called the SDDC Manager. And so it's this SDDC Manager that delivers the automation going forward with VMware Cloud Foundation. Now, this automation is very important. If we think about um, public cloud infrastructure and you wanna go, okay, I've got my initial infrastructure built and stood up, I need to add more capacity to it. How do I do that? You go to the SDC manager interface and say, I wanna add a host over here to the vCenter, right? And so you can add an additional host uh, to the infrastructure all with automation, right? The automation of the SDC manager that's built into the SDC manager drives all these components. So it delivers automated deployment of compute, storage, networking, and then we monitor everything with the cloud operations components. Now, this is what kind of makes up VMware Cloud Foundation, right? And going on with this, right, the automation, what does that give us within VMware Cloud Foundation? Well, that gives us consistency. And it's this consistency that delivers a full cl private cloud experience inside your data center. If you think about going to a public cloud provider, you don't have to think about what does the architecture look like for the compute uh, or the storage very much, right? You just say, I need more of this, and they give it to you. Uh, the backend infrastructure and the architecture is taken care of, and it delivers consistently. So if you have multiple data centers or you need to scale up an existing data center, VMware Cloud Foundation and the SDDC Manager leverage automation and drive consistency throughout your environment. So there's no, nothing unique, nothing um, breaking this automation. It, it, it's a private cloud platform. And so it's this consistency that helps you scale up, right? Scaling up the infrastructure, adding different ESXi hosts and scaling up your infrastructure um, across workload domains and more, right? Now we've got a lot of components here and what happens when it comes to patching and upgrading all these components, right? There's a lot to keep a, 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 a t attention to, right? You got the hypervisor, you got the vCenter server, you got your software-defined storage with vSAN, you got the NSX components, the ARIA suite, and you need to make sure when you do patching or upgrading, everything's done in the right order. Um, you don't want to get things patched out of order and making things incompatible with each other. You got to look at the compatibility matrix for all these components to make sure that they're working together. That's where the SDC manager comes in. It actually takes care of lifecycle management for you. Through automation, it's delivering a complete um, lifecycle management inside the user interface of the SDC manager. So all patching and upgrading is taken care of inside the SDC manager for all these different components, making sure that your experience for patching and upgrading goes smoothly and consistently. And you can kind of see all of these different components are delivering on a private cloud. And this private cloud is now on-premise. So you have this full private cloud in your on-premises data center delivering this very new innovative experience. And when it comes to innovation, and you need to deliver things like Kubernetes inside your environment. So if you need to do uh, Kubernetes, hey, eight's here. 
um, that delivers, we can do that with Cloud Foundation. We can use the automation of the SDC manager uh, to drive and deploy a Kubernetes experience here inside your vCenter server on the top of your ESXi host, delivering modern applications when you need them. Or for a lot of our customers, we're talking about private AI now. And so if you want to do uh, artif artificial intelligence with your applications, leveraging some of that data that you may be collecting um, and deliver some private AI applications inside your private data center on-premises, we can do that with VMware Cloud Foundation, giving you an innovative approach to deploying infrastructure, managing it with day two lifecycle, giving you highly consistent infrastructure throughout all your software-defined data centers, um, and giving you a full innovative experience into the future. That, in a nutshell, is what VMware Cloud Foundation is, all powered by the SDC manager. So with that, if you like this and this was beneficial, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll do some more of these light boards and we'll dive in deeper to each of these components and take a look behind the scenes, what's going on, so you get a good understanding of what Cloud Foundation is. If you've got questions, feel free to drop those in the chat below. I'll do my best to answer those as they come in. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.